happy 20th of December, happy 20th day of Vlogmas. How are we all today? I hope that you're all doing well. I am very stressed, <laughs> there's no denying that, I'm afraid. In fact, I'm actually breaking out because I am that stressed at the minute. Um, yeah, work is relentless. So I had a bike ride planned for when I got home last night from work, from the office. I leave the office about three o'clock and I get home probably about half past three, quarter to four, and my bike ride wasn't until five. But as soon as I got home, I had to start work again. So yeah, long day for me tomorrow, uh, yesterday. Oh my gosh, <laughs> very long day for me yesterday. Um, yeah, there's no let up at the minute. So obviously I need to, it is my flexi day today, but I need to do some more work today. Um, <laughs> All I can do is laugh, it's just exhausting. Um, I have been working on my Toft advent this morning as well. I have been working on day 18 and day 19 catch up. Oh my goodness, they are tricky. Um, I was kind of hoping that this week it would be a little bit more plain sailing because the previous weeks we've had a lot of crochet to get in, which is fine. Um, but obviously trying to balance work and keeping up with the advents and YouTube and everything, I. I was struggling on the Toft stuff and yeah, I was kind of hoping for an easier week, but uh, no, no, it is not an easier week. It's just a fiddly week <laughs> this week. Anyway, I will show you all those updates later on because um, I will have time to do that today. Well, I hope I will. Hopefully there's not no, no more catastrophes at work. Um, yes. <laughs> Anywho, let's get stuck in to the opening of Advent. Before I do that, I do have a cheeky little espresso this morning. Um, what can I say? I need it. Hang on. Plus I also loved, oh God, that is so good, sorry. Um, I love drinking out of a tiny little cup as well. It makes me feel like a giant. I don't know if you have that, I just like it. We have little saucers as well and then it's like a little wings. Anywho, simple wins, right? Especially this time of year when things are, when you're getting quite run down, we're getting very close, it's get, it's crunch time. Everything's gotta get done by Friday or on Friday. Um, yeah. <laughs> Hang on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so bike ride I'm gonna do this afternoon. Um, it's a recovery ride with the ladies today. And then tomorrow I will do the workout that I was supposed to do on yesterday. Um, so it's a workout with the ladies again. I think it's going to be far too high level for me, but there's no harm in trying, right? <laughs> we shall see. Um, yeah, let's get stuck in. I did say that a moment ago, but let's actually get stuck in this time. Right, we are on to the wonderful Siobhan's Crafts. And let me find it. Day 20, where are you? Oh, here we go. All oh, the doors are open at around day 20. How exciting. Right. I think it's harder when more doors are open because the structure is a lot less rigid um so it's got a lot more flexibility in it now hang on all right i've got my fingers in are we ready oh. <gasps> oh, 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 oh hello beautiful that is how i want my day to be bright and merry that is what the vibe i'm going for today that's beautiful. I might keep this with me all day and remind myself, look, look, it's beautiful. <laughs> That's gorgeous. That is so perfect. That's just so good. Right, on to the next one, which is the wonderful Woolly Mama Advent. Oops, there we are. <sighs> right, I'm trying to get a slight wiggle on because I would like to get my work done as early as possible today. As I say, it is a flexi day, so in theory I shouldn't be working, but I'm gonna try and get I'm gonna try and spread the work over the next three days to make it easier for myself so I'm not so stressed because yesterday was ridiculous. Right, day 20. Here we go. Scooch. I'm also wearing a festive jumper again. I've been wearing it most of the week, but um yeah, I'm keeping it on all day today. That is that is what's happening. Right, here we go. Oh, that's lovely. I'm trying to think of where to put that. I'm panicking. <laughs> that's beautiful, isn't it? Oh, that's very My Little Pony-esque. From what I 
the colours anyway from uh, my childhood the very muted tones that's beautiful I really like that that's so nice let's put it next to doesn't quite match Siobhan's today they're not supposed to but um yes it still looks good oh I haven't put that away hang on I'm slacking this is just my lovely Ooh. I'm half tempted to to keep this with me as well just to squish today it's all okay it'll be fine <laughs> let's close that right on to the next advent calendar which is the wonderful zakami yarn advent calendar i dream of a journey so let me have a quick nose because all my days have mixed up prior and current um let me see where we are i believe we are on the last day of peru today so tomorrow we will actually be in our final country which is kind of sad it means it's all drawing to a close here is the wonderful postcard for the uh, final day of Peru. I mean, it's, whoops, chucking it everywhere. Um, right, I'm gonna grab this. Let's get it ready. There we go, right, so this is day 20. Um, I have shuffled some colors around, well, say some, I've, I've shuffled two colors around. I will show you that and re-explain it later, but if you saw yesterday's video, you will have seen um, what I did and I'm so happy with it but that is for later this is for now day 20 are we ready oh, that is nice that's a very reddish brown that that's gorgeous I think you can see that that reddish tint to it that is lovely mm. I really like that. I'm quite looking forward to put this, uh, to laying out all of the colours from Peru and just seeing if I do want to change any around. I don't think so at this point in time. That's beautiful though. That is absolutely gorgeous. So pop that there. Let's tidy up a bit. Um, oh, actually, while I'm here, while I've got the box open, I'm going to go into my little envelope and I'm going to pick out a tea for today because why not? Oh, I think, uh, oh, I've only got one left. Fabulous. I don't have to make a choice. Brilliant. And the tea is lovely Earl Grey. So I love Earl Grey, but I don't drink it with milk. My sister drinks it with milk. I just can't bring myself to drink it with milk. So do you have Earl Grey and do you drink it with milk? There you go. That's a, that's a morning question for you all. Oh, I'm excited. Right, now I'm going to put Peru in the pile. No, I'm not. I'll leave Peru out for now. Just um, having a shift around. There we go. Put that back in there. All right, all right, all right, all right. So we are now on to opening of the final advent that I have, which is the lovely Toft advent. Please don't be a fiddly day. <laughs> oh, please don't be a fiddly day. I'm not in the mood for fiddly today. Um, although I've been doing all the fiddly ones. No, that's day 24. 21. It's going well. 20! Ooh, that made me jump. Okay. Far too loud for the morning. Although my partner says I am extremely loud. So, yeah. I don't know whether that's because I'm hard of hearing. It could be that. I'm just on a... I speak very loud. <laughs> anywho. Oh, yes. No, anywho. Here we go. There is day, oh my gosh, day 20. Yeah, so it does jangle. I wonder if this is the final centralizer because we had how many rings? Um, on the keeper, my apologies. Do you know what? I'm gonna stop calling them centralizers and I'm gonna to refer to them as stitch markers because that is what I predominantly use them for. It's only when I'm doing toft advent. It's only when I'm doing toft things that I see them refer to as centralizers. So my apologies, to save confusion, I will refer to them as stitch markers from now forward. So on this uh, stitch marker keeper, we have six rings. I believe uh, one is definitely in use. Um, I'm not sure if another, yes. So mm, honestly, I can't even do basic maths these days. So I've got four on here, one is in use, so I wonder if this is the final stitch marker. Let's go. 
Let's see. Right, are we ready? Oh, I think it is. All right. Ooh. They're very stiff. Yes, it is. He's nice. All right, are we ready for this little guy? Oh, or lady, look. That is lovely. I love the hair. The hair is great. So that is what could be our final stitch marker. Very, very nice. So I'm going to take it off here and I'm going to put it on here. I don't know if we need it, but as long as if I have it on here. So I'm just hooking it onto that ring. And there we go. They're all on the ring. There's only one ring that's empty and that is because it is in use still. Um, right, so that is today's little gift. Put that there, tidy up, tidy up as I go. Those are in. Ah, right. Um, I haven't checked my inbox yet. Um, well, I have, but I've been looking at previous days' um, pattern. So I've been looking at day 18 and day 19 because that's what I've been working on this morning. I was going to wait for the sun to come up before I started work this morning. Um, I might go and sit in the garden for a moment <laughs> just so I've got some fresh air and some kind of sunshine. It's a beautiful day, actually. The sunrise was absolutely stunning this morning. Um, had I been more on it, I would have gone out for a walk and filmed the sunrise. Maybe tomorrow. Um, I will see how busy I am tomorrow. I might do that. Um, so for the rest of the day, oh, hang on, wait, I'm sitting here chatting away. I haven't shown you today's colours altogether. So here they are. I still love the Siobhan's one. This one I am carrying with me all day. It is beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous, that. And I am totally, totally with the person who said make something like a blanket or a cardigan with these and just have them around at winter time or whenever I'm feeling low actually because this will just lift my mood because the colours are just oh so lovely. Love it. Um yes, so um what am I doing today? I'm working. <laughs> Usual story, especially this time of year. Um I will do some work. I do have to email a client actually because he has been MIA and <laughs> I need some stuff off him. So I've got to contact him and see what's happening. Um, I also have to finish off my top clothes. So I think that's what I'm going to do. No, I think I'm going to call it a day, a morning on the top clothes for now because they have been stressing me out a little bit with how fiddly they are. Um, and that's not the point of Advent. The point of Advent is to enjoy. So. I'm going to give myself a break on those. Then I'm going to come back to them around lunchtime and hopefully get the remainder of Clue 19 done and maybe have a look at Clue 20. I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, I'm hoping to have some time this afternoon as well, just for myself, because that would be nice. Um, I do have my bike ride. I think that's at two. I need to double check my the, the schedule and see which event I actually signed up for. <laughs> that would be really helpful. But I think my event is at two. Um, it should be okay and I do have some uh, another workout to do as well so that's fine because I've been slacking uh yes work has pretty much taken over my life at the moment but hopefully as I've said after today hopefully it will start easing for me and I'm hoping to finish early on Friday that is the hope and the plan um but yes anywho you don't need to know all that that is uh, <laughs> that is just me waffling trying to make myself feel better um, but yes, I am going to finish my little espresso. I'm going to get up to work and then I will check back with you all in a little bit. Good afternoon, everyone. A very, very quick check in for you. It has been all go here this morning. Um, I haven't done much more work. Well, I've done no more work on my Toft advent. Um, yeah, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to finish all clues <laughs> for today. Uh, but I do have some changes to show you. I have been working on my trifle wrap in and around work. I've been waiting for emails to come through. I am still waiting for one of my clients to send me work. So whether that's coming through today, who knows at this point. Um, so I've just started putting the washing out. So I've been trying to get all the laundry done before we go away. And yeah, I'm a bit behind. And the weather was lovely this morning. It is now grey and dismal. I don't know if you can see that. Excuse my towels. <laughs> I have a funny sense of humour. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to finish putting the laundry out. I do have some bread baking in the kitchen, which is fantastic. I'm about to make myself some lunch. I'm going to have banana pancake -y type 
things. Bit of a rich lunch today because I'm going on my bike at two. Uh, what else is there? I feel like I'm missing something here, <laughs> but I can't remember. Delivery man has been, so I don't have to worry about um, him arriving while I'm on my bike. So that's good. Uh, good for him as well. He doesn't want a big sweaty me appearing um, all tired and yeah dressed not appropriately to answer the door basically um so that's good that's that's it, things are going smoothly so far <laughs> i'm a bit calmer today i was a bit grumpy um this morning so yes i wasn't uh, i wasn't best pleased about all the fiddly things to do with toft but i am calming down as the day goes on and i'm a bit merrier i'm a little less grumpy um but yes, grumpiness is purely because I'm tired. I want a day off, basically. Uh, it will be coming. I'm going to have a week off, so I'm super excited for that. My partner and I, uh, when I, I always go to the door with him whenever he leaves the house. Same with me. Whenever I leave the house, he always comes to the door with me. It's just what we do. Um, and when we were stood at the door this morning, he said, next year, we need to book more holidays. So next year we are going to book more holidays it is official but anywho um not a lot of crafty things to show you at the minute but I will update you all a bit later um probably after I've been on my bike now because I need to get a wiggle on and eat I'm just checking the time don't want to eat too close to going on the bike that would not be a pretty sight um so yeah I'm gonna stop waffling and I'm gonna sort myself out and I will check back with you all in a little bit Hello everyone, uh, just a really quick check in, I'm about to go on my bike, very excited because I have joined a ladies only group on Zwift and we're doing a group ride today. It's a recovery one but I'm still convinced they're going to be way faster than me so I'm not entirely sure how this is going to go but it's going to be really nice to do and I've just seen the jersey, it looks amazing so I'll show you the jersey in a minute. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited about it. It's quite exciting to be part of this group. I'll say hello to them all in just a minute. I haven't said hello yet. Um, but yeah, bike's all set up. I'm set up, ready to go. I still need to do some work after I finish this, but do you know what? I'm doing my, my enjoyment. So I'm going to turn you around and show you the jersey of Ace. Hang on. Good afternoon everyone, I am back for my final check-in of today. Oh, I am glad the day's over. I have been extremely busy, I have worked more than I planned to work. I knew I was going to work more than usual today, but um, yeah, it ended up being a lot more than I had planned. So yes, we'll see how the rest of the week pans out, but I'm hoping it's going to put me in a better stead for tomorrow and Friday. That's, that's the hopes. Um, right, I, oh, I had an absolutely fantastic bike ride. It was wonderful riding with the ladies. Um, it was just a recovery ride today. I really thought I was going to struggle with the pace because I'm, I have no idea what to expect. Um, but actually the pace was perfect for what, what I would consider a recovery ride. So it was perfect for me. Absolutely brilliant. Tomorrow I have joined another event with the ladies and it will be a proper workout. Um, so I've, I've, I've done events before and I've done events that are a bit racy, but I've never done a, an organized workout with a group before. So I'm going to be really intrigued to see how it works. Um, yeah, we'll see how it goes, but yes, I can't remember if I booked that or I signed up for the one at two or the one at five. I can't remember. Um, not that that affects yourselves, of course it affects me, obviously. Um, but yes, anywho, <laughs> I'm very excited. Right, on to the progress of the crafty goodness. Um, we'll start with the trifle wrap. It's been a while since we've been in this setting, so um, I'm trying to get myself organised again. It was um, quite difficult. <laughs> anyway, the trifle wrap is by Helen Stewart, and I am currently using my Zakami yarn advent calendar to make it. So we'll start at the bottom, which is here, and then we'll keep going down. It's getting pretty big now. And then we are currently here. Now, I also want to say a massive thank you to everybody who has commented. I am really pleased that I changed these colours around. So this is the first day of um, Jordan. I had a minute then. This is the first day of Jordan. 
This is actually the fourth day of Jordan, but I swapped it around. It was initially this colour that was going to be next. So that was next to this one. And as you can see, it's very similar. And the rest of the wrap is just jumps all over the shop. So I kind of wanted to be in keeping with the rest of the wrap in that it jumps all over the place. I've completely forgotten where this one goes, but it's in there. Um, so yeah, that's why I made that decision. And thank you all so much for all your comments about it because um, it's overall positive about this change. And I think it's definitely the right decision because look at this, how beautiful does this look? So this was day one of Jordan. This was day four of Jordan. This was day three. So these two were always gonna be together anyway. But if I bring over what would have been day two now, it actually looks like it's going to be really, really beautiful. I mean, these three colours this way are absolutely gorgeous together. So that's what I did. And this is where I'm at. I am slowly getting there. We are, we had opened the last day of Peru today. I'm just checking the table because they're all on the table. Uh, yeah, we're on the last, we opened the last day of Peru, the last yarn of Peru this morning so we're on to the final place tomorrow so i'm very excited but yeah i'm really really pleased that i changed those round and i think the wrap is looking so much better for it just oh beautiful right i'm hoping to get working on this a bit more actually later um i'm hoping my partner's going to be making tea tonight because so far i have made tea um which is fine absolutely fine um i like to step up but he's the better cook <laughs> be nice to have some really tasty food not that my food isn't tasty but you know I'm he has a lot more heart when cooking I bake um in fact the whole house smells of bread right now because I have baked some bread albeit in the bread machine but you know <laughs> I'm not selling myself as a chef here am I <laughs> never mind um right on to the toft project the the toft advent I haven't caught up I'm very sorry but I didn't go back to it after this morning's um, grump, let me say. <laughs> I was very grumpy about it. Um, I'm not that grumpy. I don't really get that grumpy. But um, I did what I did. And I will tackle a bit more, hopefully later, hopefully later this evening while I'm editing or something. I've got some chocolates on the table, so hopefully that will sway me in the right direction. <laughs> Open those, get them uh, chomping on those while I do some toft fiddly bits. Um, I have not looked at today's clue and I don't actually know the remainder of yesterday's clue either. So day 19, so I don't know day 19's full clue either. I've just realised I'm not wearing my watch. I feel weird not wearing my watch, anywho. Um, so I finished day 18, so I can show you that. Um, let me get her. I haven't finished fully because I haven't tied in my ends. Story of my life, really. Um, but so day 18... Is that right? Day 18. Yes, day 18, we made a tutu, which I did it quite long because I just fancied a long tutu, if I'm honest. So there she is with her long tutu. I haven't tied it to her body yet, so that is just a little bow in the plum yarn at the back. Um, I'm going to give it a bit because this, this tutu I did about four times. The first time I did it, I was being really... I'm a bit of a perfectionist so I was doing it in the way that I thought was right but it didn't look right it was too clean and because there wasn't so much busyness going on here you could see the plum this plum yarn you could see it all the way around you can still see it slightly and I didn't like it at all and then I redid it a couple of times I didn't like it and then I eventually settled on this and I think it looks all right <laughs> I think it looks okay. I, I love a big full skirt, so that is why mine has a big full skirt. And I think this was the first um, the first time that we got a choice on how we wanted to do something. So yeah, you could choose on how full or how uh, tight you wanted the skirt to be. I wanted a big full skirt because that's just what I like. So yeah, she's got a nice big full skirt. It's very cute. Um, what else did I do? Ah, yes, the remainder of day 18's clue was this lovely little tiara. And it was really, really interesting to make this. Um, if I pop it on her head. Um, there we go. Got a little tiara. 
So that is her little tiara, which is adorable. Obviously, again, not tied in the ends, but those are day 18's parts done. I really enjoyed making this tiara, actually. That kind of sweetened the deal from the tutu for me, so that was fine. <laughs> but yes, yeah, so I'll pop her back in her box. She's, she's quite difficult to get back in the box now because the tutu is so full. Get in, come on. Oh dear, she's lost her ti tiara. Yeah, it's pretty stuffed in there. Like she's, um, she's in there though. There we go. Right, yesterday's clue, so day 19's clue was to work on this guy. Now, the only thing I've done fair fair warning the only thing i've done of day yesterday's day 19's clue was his little um shoulder details with the two um beads and the sorry i don't mean to pull his neck i'll show you the back and the little um just doing a slip stitch in black all the way around the collar so that's all i've done of day 19's clue we do need to do some stitching on here in black and violet. As I've said many a times, I am out of my violet yarn. So I do have some violet down there from when I was making the sweet pea. So I'll be able to use that. Um, but yes, I am out of violet yarn. But I can at least do those little things. Now, Kerry did them attached to his legs. And I'm not sure how I feel about that. I kind of don't want these, his tails attached to his legs. So I think I'm going to do mine not attached to the legs. Um, yeah, I, I'd feel happier with that. So I need to do that at some point. Um, then she said to tie in all the ends of the hat, which I've done. Can you believe it? Um, and then I believe there's something else that we're doing on the hat, which I've not done yet, because obviously we've got that chain that we need to use. Um, I don't even know where it is. I think it's on the table. So that's all I've done of yesterday's clue, day 19's clue. Um, so I need to finish that. Uh, and then I need to have a look at today's clue and I've no idea what it is so I can't really explain to you what it is so plan for this evening I will work do some more work on the Toft advent while I'm editing and then when I've done all of that I am then going to sit on the sofa watch tv and I'm going to work on my trifle wrap because I've been really enjoying working on the trifle wrap at the minute I am loving seeing the colours slowly develop next to each other it's been absolutely wonderful and I'm really excited looking at Peru's colours today. They look absolutely gorgeous. So I'm really excited to get those in. So I need to finish Jordan's colours and then I can get Peru's colours in and ah, oh, we can start in a new country tomorrow. Very exciting. So yes, I am going to actually drink my protein. I, I made this after I finished my bike. I just haven't started it yet because I've been busy getting the laundry in, bringing the bins in, doing lots of getting the bread out. Oh, I might have a slice of bread as well. Mm. slice of bread and some chocolates yeah that'll sweeten the deal with the fiddly bits for toft it's fine <laughs> anyway i think that's everything i will do my best to get as much footage to you tomorrow as i can obviously we are slowly drawing to a close of vlogmas which is extremely sad um i um no, I'm, just, I'm thinking i'm thinking out loud which isn't very helpful is it i might be having something happen next week um so the week between christmas and new year but uh not 100 percent sure yet because i don't know when i'm going to be home but when i'm home i'll be able to sort that out and also um just thinking of when the next video will be with you after vlogmas finishes it's probably not the ideal day to do this but um just thinking out loud um i mean i could do a little video in that week in between sorry i'm being really annoying and i'm playing with this <laughs> if you can hear annoying an annoying noise um i will try and get a video a podcast to you in that week between christmas and new year actually yes no i will because um i will probably have done a bit more work on things hopefully <laughs> depends how busy i am um and then after that in the new year schedule a resume as usual but i will let you know close to the dime I am just thinking out loud because obviously today I've been thinking, oh my gosh, Vlogmas is nearly over. That's really sad. So yeah, it's on my mind and I will update you. But yes, um, yes, 
that's it so thank you all so much for watching it really does mean the absolute world to me and yes i'm just so so grateful to have you all with me um have an absolutely amazing rest of the day and i look forward to seeing you in my next video